Police in South Australia have retrieved the diving equipment used by a Victorian man who died in the underground waterway tank cave near Mount Gambia yesterday. It's the third cave diving death in two years in the area and despite the sport's peak body saying its members are well trained, police have raised concerns about safety. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports. This nondescript wooden shed hides the entrance to Tank Cave, world renowned for its freezing waters and labyrinthine chambers. Only the most experienced are allowed to take it on. The two men who went into it yesterday had each been cave diving for at least 10 years. They've been in Tank Cave many, many times before. Uh, they know the site quite well. They know the area they were in yesterday quite well. Um, there was nothing unusual about yesterday's dive than, than the sort of diving they would have done many times before in that location. Despite that experience, a dive yesterday afternoon turned to tragedy when a 40-year-old man from Melbourne died in the cave. The buddy that was diving with uh, the deceased uh, surfaced and uh, when he found out that his buddy hadn't come up to the surface, he went back down and uh, that's where and unfortunately he found the body of the diver. The Cave Diving Association of Australia regulates access to Tank Cave and other sinkholes. To get access to it, it says divers must undergo extensive and guided training in cave diving. Tank Cave has the highest training requirement and the highest level of experience required before you're actually allowed to enter the cave. And then once you're in the cave, it actually runs through a system of dives within the cave, both guided and unguided, where the divers have to actually gradually increase their experience in the site before they're allowed to enter other areas within the cave. This is the third cave diving death in two years in the area. In February, well-known diver Agnes Maloka died when she got into trouble in Tank Cave. Cave diving isn't a big sport in Australia, so its participants are shocked by what's happened. The cave diving community is a very close-knit community. Um, many members know each other quite well. They know each other both through the sport and, and personally. Um, the sport being unique like it is, it tends to attract people socially as well as just playing the sport as well. Um, so naturally the, the members are, are in shock at the death. Um, as they were with the other two deaths. Despite the insistence that divers are as well trained as they can be, there's a question about just how safe it is to dive in the underground caves of the region. We've had two deaths at Tank Cave and uh, we had another death in March last year in, a, in another sinkhole, completely different location. Yeah, as to uh, the safety of the caves, uh, I don't think it's the caves really uh, that are in question. Police will now prepare a report for the South Australian coroner. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line.